I don't know how this path begins. I don't know why. Um, I know I rejected a lot of what was happening around me, which led me to look into other things. I didn't expect that I would be directly trying to expand my energy field or connect or seek more knowledge, but I knew that the things I was learning was based on lies and I was tired of it. So I I chose to I chose to seek my own path. I chose a path that I feel like I've slept walk or I used to sleepwalk when I was like a child. They'd catch me, you know, walking around doing some crazy shit. That people are having like similar experiences that. with similar I symptoms. feel as if my look at her fingers. Look at the light from her fingers. trying to trigger me into waking like for a while now. And smoke. But a lot of times in the you know where we the days that we live in now, people are like, you know, so easy to dismiss it and say that it's not real. It's uh, you know, you're tripping, you're crazy. Let's get you in a mental hospital, of the people sort in the of USA thing. Are on then, pharmaceuticals. You know, looking further into it for depression because they're lied to. They're gaslighted about this whole subject. I mean, a lot of purple. It's like I was surrounded in like a purple haze. And that's a Maybe real that's a thing. Song that I you like, can see you know colors. I mean? Sort of a thing. Maybe that's something that I smoke. Because I feel like there's a lot of smoke around me. I don't know how to explain it. Maybe and I'm that's seeing exactly aura. right. Look at her fingers, sure. like I said. I've never really gotten this visual before from an energy. So maybe this is my clairvoyance sort of waking up. But yes, yeah, a lot of purple. So it's like, to me, that's the energy of, like I said, wisdom and knowledge. So this could be from anywhere. This could be coming from your ancestor ancestors She's from the exactly inner part right. of your soul trying to guide you you could say your higher self but it's like there's a it's very strong i'm always being it is very strong but she's not she's not tripping she's not seeing things that aren't there she's seeing things that she has been able to through her own illumination she's been able to illuminate These beans are there. This is this is not simply dusk. Look look at the trails. Dust does not leave trails behind it. These this is energy flowing through other energy. Now these are conscious beans. But more than that, I would say that everything is conscious, in fact. And it just doesn't take a similar a single shape. It, 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 it is light. It is plasma. It's a field. That's what your. That's what light is. People think it's waves and particles. Like, you have a camera, and if you are outside, it's just going to fill up with a whole bunch of particles of light. It, it's a. These are fields, and they're all around us, and they're conscious, and we can affect them, and they can affect us. These are spirits. These are beings. This is consciousness. Just because we don't see it, we don't necessarily understand it, doesn't mean it's not there. I think that's one of the greatest problems. But when you start to get what's going on, you start to understand that this energy can actually literally be seen. It, it, it may not make sense at first, but you can see a purple-blue energy here. And that's not just camera noise. It's, it would seem like that's the easiest explanation, but it's not. I mean, if it was that simple, yeah. yeah. But it's not. And people have spoken about this whole issue, and it never really made sense to me completely in the fact that, yes, I've seen color. Uh, I've seen other things. Um, but... I didn't understand how the depth of this deception goes. Deceptive because it looked like your your hand was in behind it, but it actually wasn't. Uh, it looked like it was in front of it, but as you pass across it, it's actually closer to the to the camera. Then it's yeah, it's. How but it looks like it's far, further away, right there. It's, it's very it's very hard to tell its distance. I know it looks like it's miles away, but it's not. It's 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 like. I was, I was saying on the video, it was only like 10, 15 centimeters. That's in front away. of his hand. 
can see you can see it you can see it right there in front of his hand so my, my hand's passing um, but you couldn't tell if that was it, a star far from the but sky. around it so it's between me and the camera my, my hand and my camera so how that could that could yeah, be a star it's just so though, hard right? to tell it's, distance on it's these things it's not stationary it really is it does move a little so these things are never that's stationary. why i had to keep looking away from the camera and see where, where it actually was i mean some people would assume no but that that's wonderful you could actually you could you could see it that clearly how often does that happen where you can see them this clearly how often uh, i see them this clearly all the time what that blew me but away in this case i didn't get that it was full of color but he's wow. seen something this different time, oh, they, they don't do that this this is uh this is the first time i've ever seen that because when, I, I can just walk out in the garden and, and i still didn't really get it so i asked some more questions and know where they are also in the house i can just look around and see them you know just floating around in the lounge room but this one was special because it was pulsating color so when you see them in the house, how long do they last? Or eternally. They're, they're always there. So you can see it right now? Yeah, for sure. Hmm. So that never made sense to me. That completely never made sense to me. I I mean, I, I trust Paul, so I believed it, but I just, it just didn't make sense to me. It was kind of beyond what I considered previously. It just... How am I supposed to understand? How am I supposed to understand that without experience? I I don't have that experience. I don't know what that means. But I was able to run across a video which clearly showed me what that meant. As she turns off the light, you can see the entities that are a bluish color, bluish kind of purplish color. And this is the first time I ever saw them that clearly. <clears throat> like I say, you can see these things, um, but not easy always to photograph, uh, and not just just not that clear of a of a picture to see. So seeing her her video was was quite exciting for me to see this. I'm just gonna slow it down. Even there, with a light change, you can see some of the um, globular shape in common parlance, the orb. <coughs> Excuse me. So, what does that mean? What does that? What does that all kind of end up? Where, where's that? Where are we going with that whole idea? Well, since these things can be stationary, they can stay. Again, it puts doubt on even if there are stars. If you understand that these objects can manipulate their perception, your perception of what they are, where they are, and how they are, if you get that, then this next clip will not seem as crazy as, as rationally it is. It's extremely crazy. This is looking into a mirror. This actually the video happens to be tilted, but um, you will see at the beginning of this, you will see a plasma creature come out of the mirror into the room. What? 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 What do you say? Yeah, it is not reflected from the room. It comes out of the room, uh, out of the mirror, into the room. Um, and then you will see two plasma creatures move up, stay stationary and then again accelerate and move out and one will go right into this area right into here never was outside the mirror this is all happening inside the mirror and at this point <clears throat> it's only honestly hard to tell if it did or did not go out of the mirror but let's just play it because it'll make more sense that was the one that just came out of the mirror now there's one that goes up 
right in there that's the other one so now this is going to repeat there, there's a repeat so so I'm going to slow it down again if I can get that right slow it down and watch closely as one comes from inside the mirror and it comes out into the room that's the first one right there this is the one that came out of the mirror into the room in fact what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back a little there before it comes out watch down here it'll come out from the mirror into the room <clears throat> through the looking glass as it were <clears throat> To me, showing that uh, distance is really possibly more than likely, in my opinion, an illusion. That distance actually ex exists, and you know, I've made the argument previously that time doesn't exist, and that's how we have deja vu. You can't remember a future, but you can you can know what is the, always the now. So here it comes. This is in the mirror going out of the mirror now it's crossing from into the room but it's still not reflected back into the mirror now watch there'll be two small PCs come up they'll stop around here and then again they'll accelerate out since this is going slow it may take a couple seconds here they come here comes one very slow there's kind of another one decided to no I guess that's the other one right next to it they will stop and stay stationary and they'll appear like similar like these other ones again it's going pretty slow so just take a couple seconds here before they start moving the point of this is to say that if you just assume that stars exist, well, good for you, but that doesn't mean they really exist. There may be a reason we haven't been back to the moon, if we ever went there at all, which I really doubt. But um, you have to make up your own mind whether it's reasonable that NASA lost all the information regarding the moon landing. Um, here it goes. It's starting to come out after being stationary the previous video before showed that things can be stationary when she turned off the light you saw all those orb shaped plasma creatures this just kind of got lost in the light here now you can you can see it again kind of going up the edge right there if this doesn't make you pause that's okay this is this video was not meant for you um, I don't think this path is for everyone. It's not meant to make sense to everyone. It hardly makes sense to myself, but I know that I can reach out. I can reach out to my higher self. I can reach out to other entities. I seek to reach out to the great creator. I don't fear negative entities because if I did, I know I would have been gone already. Um, I trust that the great creator made me fine, worthy, right to be here. I don't base my life on fear. I don't base my ideas on fear. I reject them. And I I seek love. I, I seek that we all learn and we all grow and we all become what we can be. I seek for others to let their light shine and to recognize that they have the light inside. No matter what this world does, you still have it. Blessings to all beings.